now Mukesh Bansal and Ankit Nagori, two high-profile executives who, could, who picked a flip card a few weeks back, set to unveil their new venture and they are doing it today on ET Now Startup Central. It's my pleasure to have uh, Ankit Nagori, the former Chief Business Officer of Flipkart, uh, joining us on the show today to really tell us about this uh, new venture. Um, uh, Ankit, straight off the bat, tell us what the name of the startup is going to be. Uh, it'll have you and Mukesh and uh, you know what areas it's going to look at. Thanks for calling me Chandra. Chandra, I think we don't have a name yet and we just, just announced this venture. It will be a sports fitness health venture. The current uh, market in all of these industries is very, very fragmented and there's an opportunity to really organize and aggregate the market. So it's very, very early days to give out any details. We're still figuring it out. But yes, me and Mukesh together are working on the sports fitness and health market. All right, uh, Ankit, uh, this is uh, Krishna coming to you from ET Now's uh, Delhi studios. I want to ask you about uh, the founding team of this uh, brand new venture. Take us to the details of the team. Uh, apart from uh, Mukesh and you, who else? So it's me and Mukesh right now. So both me and Mukesh have worked together in the past. We have a great chemistry and I think, you know, uh, we, in the next few weeks, we'll start figuring out a technology team. For any tech venture, having a technology team on board is very important. So that's the next step for us, uh, figuring out a name for ourselves and hiring some technology guys. Ankit, you know when you quit Flipkart, and, uh, the statement said that uh, Sachin and Bini Bansal of Flipkart will be funding your new venture. So in that sense, tell us uh, if they are one of the first investors uh, to come on board and you know who are the other investors. I'm sure it wasn't difficult attracting investment uh, considering the pedigree of the founding team. So right now, actually, I'm, uh, we're not looking to seek any funds. Both me and Mukesh have pulled in $5 million to start this venture. So it will be self-funded for now. And as and when we find a need to go out to meet investors, we'll do that. But right now, me and Mukesh are pulling in money to start this. Ankit, uh, uh, Ankit, tell us, uh, you, know, you mentioned about uh, sports fitness, uh, but uh, give us some details on, on, on what uh, this will entail. Will it be an app to track individual data or say an aggregator model? Right, so if you look at the sports and fitness market, right, so there are a ton of facilities in the country, a lot of people who go for coaching, there are people who play against each other, but all of that is very fragmented. It's very difficult to, you know, find a good facility, find a player whom you can play against, find a good referee, good coach, etc. So the idea is to be able to organize all of this and obviously, you know, app could be one way of, you know, letting people discover all of this, but maybe not the only way. So in sports and fitness, both you can create communities where people can, you know, come together, play, inspire each other, nudge each other. So that's the starting hypothesis for us. On healthcare side, I think it's a very, very large industry. You know, by 2020, it'll be north of $200 billion. And right now, I think there are a lot of people trying to solve small problems or big problems, but in a very fragmented way. I think there's an opportunity to end-to-end -end solve healthcare through, you know, capturing data about every individual, uh, nudging them to, you know, be healthier through tests or, you know, visits through preventive checkups and all. Preventive checkups do not exist in India at all. So, you know, there's a lot to be done. Uh, right now, as I said earlier, the early days, uh, just the size of the problem, the impact it can create is very, very inspirational for us. And between health, sports and fitness, it will be like 7 to 8% of all GDP spends in the country by 2020. And I think there's an opportunity to really disrupt that using technology. Ankit, you have to tell us how the conversation really started between Mukesh and you. You know, did it happen at uh, perhaps the water coolers in uh, Flipkart? And uh, also, you know, was it some common passion that both of you shared, uh, you know, perhaps sport fitness or health? What was it that brought both of you together? Because there were rumors that perhaps you're teaming up with Bini Bansal to spin off something. So how did this really work out? So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the, I don't know the rumor you're talking about, about me and Bini doing it together, but definitely I have been very passionate about sports in general. And, you know, uh, when I was leaving Flipkart, the idea was to start a pure sports, uh, sports and talent development kind of venture. And Mukesh, uh, we all know, is a, you know, very, very fitness enthusiast kind of a person. And, you know, we've, we've had multiple conversations and we figured out that, you know, there is a lot of synergy between sports, fitness and eventually healthcare. You know, uh, sports and fitness provides a beautiful segue to healthcare. And yeah, we've had multiple conversations when we realized that obviously, you know, we've had a great, had a great working relationship together at Flipkart. And so that comfort level was there. But 
but also passion towards the overall idea of impacting millions of life in the country uh, through sports fitness healthcare is there so yeah multiple things came together for us to come together and work on this idea all right ankit uh, talk to us about uh, your uh, usp or uh, unique selling point how different are you from your rivals you know many of them uh, startups who operate in the space that you've chosen to venture into so i think the current market is very fragmented there are a few startups few companies who are trying to you know really uh, aggregate things build good stuff but i think in this industry we're just scratching the surface so right now the competition i like i would not even worry you know about the competition all of the all of the current players are doing a great job i think there is an opportunity to create your own brand in this segment and uh, the more more the number of players in this segment i think the better it will be for the overall ecosystem uh, the ecosystem is very very small right now it can grow massively over the next 5 10 years and i'm hoping that you know we'll be able to create some decent impact so the secret sauce will be like you know using technology to scale this up right so uh, obviously anything which needs to be scaled needs to be scaled using technology so if you're able to crack that bit i think we'll we'll do some good stuff in this sector Finally, Ankit, take us through the timeline. You know, for the formal uh, launch, have you already kicked off operations? Uh, you know, uh, uh, product uh, ideation. Take us through the timeline that this will entail. So I think the product launch would still still could be like six to nine months away. You know, so we just uh, we will we'll, we'll, in starting April we'll start really brainstorming. You know, and start iterations on what could be the possible use cases, etc. As I said, the first step to towards you know the kicking off the operations would be to get a technology team on board. So next few weeks we'll figure out how to do that. While we also you know figure out other formalities around name, registration, so on and so forth. So yeah, so uh, April is some April is you know I think uh, a good time frame for us to start formally with a registered company and also you know uh, being able to attract some technology talent. Ankit Nagori, thank you so much for talking to ED Now Startup Central, and we'll be tracking your startup closely uh, to really see the progress that it's making. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com/etnow, and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnow live. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow.